Guys, today I'm going to show you three different meta strategies I think are going to be really good this season. So, let's get it. Alright guys, our first match here is against the one and only Mr. Pressing. We're going the strategy of Boomer, Ice, and Sub here, so it should be a fun one indeed. And um, yeah, the real Mr. Pressing, ladies and gentlemen. So we're going to start with our Ice Tower right about here. So we're starting with the Blue Balloon Eco. They're all going for the Dartling as well. I wonder if he's going his classic strategy of Dartling, um, Spike Factory, and Wizard here. We're getting my... Where's my Boomerang? Place my Boomerang, please. My Boomerang down right here. All right. And we'll see how this goes. We are going Pat here with Boomer Sub and Ice. I don't know if this is a good uh, combination. I've thought about bringing Pat, though, just to help you out a little bit through the mid-game rounds. Because it's going to give you the plus one damage on your Boomerang and stuff, which will help out a little bit. And additionally, it's going to help a ton for Moab rushes, which is the thing I'm really excited about. It's going to help out a lot for Moabs there. So we'll see how Pat ends up working out for us here, boys. See how uh, Pat ends up doing. Yeah, at the moment, we're just going to be Max Eco going and trying to build up my Boomerangs and get this um, Ricochet going here. As soon as possible is the goal. They got their Oban and their Dartling down. All right, all right. They're doing the Space Deco approach. Fair enough. And some blue balloons here. Maybe put this on last. I don't know. Let's do decent on last. Okay, we're not leaking that badly. We're not leaking that badly. The yellows, it looks like. How much does it sell for? This sells for 367. That's about 700. So I need a little bit more than $800 on hand for this Ricochet. So I should be able to get up pretty soon. All right, we got it up. Beautiful. We're Gucci. I don't know if that's the ideal way to start with Boomerang at all, guys. Um, I haven't started with Boomerang in the new update with the eco changes at all. So it was Boomerang was a difficult, kind of difficult tower to start with to begin with. But now after the eco changes, where you, you've got to like, it's really hard to save up money now. It's even more difficult. But we got a round four Pat Fusty down as well. All right. We got their wall of fire up. Well done. I actually need to get up um, Red Heart Rings here, don't I? Yeah. All right, we're fine. We're fine. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard. You can't even max eco while doing this stuff, boys. Boomerang's hard tower to start with. I'm not lying. Boomerang is difficult here. Yeah. So they are going the Mr. Pressing strategy, though. Of Dartling, Boomer, and... um, no, Dar Dartling, Wizard, and... Spike Factory here, I assume. So it's it's the real Mr. Pressing, guys. It's the real Mr. Pressing. No cap, no kizzy. With some Black Bloons, this round's in a lot of yells next round is the plan. The path's actually kind of hurting my defense sometimes because it makes it so the balloons get split up and then my ricochet dies like uh, after it hits a few balloons. So right now, path's actually kind of hurting my defense at, in some cases, which is not good. But it should be pretty helpful later in the game, hopefully. And I'm a lot of yells here. We'll balloon boost. We forced a tower boost out of them. All right. Mr. Pressing tower boost that. Fair enough. All right. We'll stop yellowing then. And we'll send some Space Purples next round, because Space Purples are the best Eco Balloon in round 8. Alright, they get out their HRP. Round 8, Hydro Rocket Pods. Oh my gosh, they got that up early, ladies and gentlemen. He is not playing games today. He does not want to leak. Oh my lord. Mr. Pressing. Send him some Space Zebras here. Yeah, my Eco's pretty solid, actually. It, rounds haven't gotten anti-stalled too badly. Especially, especially pretty solid for the bit of a sketchy start we had there. A bit of a sketchy start. All right, we can afford my more glaives, which is fantastic. Uh, it doesn't appear they're interested in rushing at the moment. We're gonna clear out obstacle as well, but sometimes it makes your boomerang die. Are right, we should be fine against this? Oh my gosh, bro. He is in going in with the ceramics. Holy cow. The amount of space ceramics this man just sent me is absurd. I think I'm fine boosting the first rush because if he sends me a re-rush, all I'd do is use Pat 3 ability with um the ice shards and I'll defend. So I think that's I think I'm safe to boosting that first rush there against an all-out re-rush. You know what I'm saying? That was my thought process with it. Keep eat going. They got Spike Factory in the back. Yep, look at that. I called the strategy from the start, boys. I called the Mr. Pressing strategy from the start. This man is infamous for going Dartling, um, Wizard and Spack here. I knew it. I knew it from the get-go, ladies and gentlemen. Literally knew it from the get-go. Now, I don't know if I need a mob shove, to be honest. That's the thing I'm not sure about. Do I need a mob shove here? Or can I just... Maybe I should go for, like, an air burst in this or something. Like, that could honestly be the, be the play. When you have... When you have pot for like Moabs, maybe you just don't even go for the Moab shove. You go for like an air burst, as weird as that, weird as that sounds, because it's much cheaper. And pot's basically a Moab shove for you. 
You might think about doing a play like that here. I mean, if they send me a ton of mobs, maybe I should get a mob shove up, you know? He has stopped ecoing here, which leads, which is scary. So we are going to chill on our side a little bit. Okay, there's a Moab. We'll get this up. All right. Pat, you can, Pat, you can stun it now. All right, there we go. <laughs> that was scaring me a little bit. Pat was not, um, knocking it back. That was scaring me a little bit, ladies and gentlemen. Not going to cap. No cap there. All right, he's all out on me. We'll boost this. Whoa, 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 Pat, Pat, bro, you can chill out a little bit. Oh, man. Oh, oh, okay, we're good, we're good. Pat, Pat, I don't know what's going on. What's, what happened with you there, bro? Oh, my gosh. Pat, Pat went crazy, dude. <laughs> what the heck? That's crazy, dude. Pat, Pat, you went, you went, I'm sorry if I hurt your feelings on that first rush, bro. You didn't have to throw the moabs like that, man. Oh, my gosh. That was nuts. That was nuts. Okay, we got another mob press here. Looks like he's gonna go all in on me. So um, we're gonna go for a icicles side of the pat range. Maybe I should just go for a snowstorm as well here, just so then everything snowed, you know. All right, fine. For Gucci, that shouldn't get go in anywhere. I can use a snowstorm if I need it. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine there. All right. We'll send them a fortified ZMG. I don't think there's a chance they defend one of these. Speaking about ZMG, they're sending me one. Okay. Actually, I probably shouldn't even go. This snowstorm's probably a waste of money because I have so much balloon popping power here. That probably would have been smarter for me just to go for other stuff like more more, more Moab presses and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Because now he's going all in, bro. Man is going all in here. All right. They're about to die to AI. Should I, let me just send them a couple purples real quick. They go for the trees. That's smart. But, okay, they die. They die. GG's. Dude, that was crazy. Pat just threw those balloons so weirdly. All right, guys. Our next match here is against Paper. We're on the map Dino Graveyard here. We're going back to Dartling Ice and Village. I really think this is probably the meta eco strategy right now. The strategy is fantastic for eco especially with snow fusty because you can just create so hard early guys the ice shards and snow pat defense or normal pat as well for um round 11 round 13 is just absurdly cheap and it gets those rushes out of the way at very easily so yeah but it looks like he's starting with his alchemist right there so it's probably some sort of elk farm loadout yep there's their um ocean open as well definitely some sort of elk farm loadout from my opponent or just alchemist um eco as well I'd assume it's farm, just because normally when someone has an eco strategy with Alchemist, they place theirs somewhere farther back in the map to stall the rounds. I'd assume they have farm here, but, you know, don't count your eggs before they hatch, you could say. You know what I'm saying, boys? You know what I'm saying? Rhino Halleck always out there with the good, um, with the good, what is those? Is it an idiom? No, it's not an idiom. With the good sayings? I'm trying to figure out what they're called. One-liners? No, that's like a joke. I forget, I forget. There's like a special word for it. There's a special word for it. But I, I can't think of it at the moment. And it is farm. It is farm. So I was correct in the um, in my guess there. It is indeed farm. So that's great. Let's on first real quick. Let's try not to leak if we can. All right. I didn't leak because I'm the best player in the entire game here. Look at that. The manager leaks like a boss. Put that on first. That's on first. Yep. That picks that up. Perfect. All right. And we'll continue eat going. Great. 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 We love it. Okay, he has actually leaked, what, 12 lives? So we can leak a little bit and be completely safe. We do need to try to stay leakless this entire game. That's very important with a strategy like mine. You want to try to stay leakless because you don't have a way to life rejuvenate in your strategy, guys. Which is, um, obviously, in this strategy, is a strategy that can't take a late till around 40. So you obviously want to lay it safe there. Lay it safe. And the good thing about this is my opponent's strategy is not really an aggressive farm strategy either. Like, their strategy is one where they're not going to be able to farm super duper hard because strategy like doesn't have its insane greed, which means that it's going to be easier easier for us to GG around 40 of them. That makes sense. Get this faster barrel spin up. Perfect. Now, the good thing is they actually are trying to greed hard with their farms right now, which is fine. And the reason why that's good for me 
is that they're actually not popping these um ai balloons very fast you can see a lot of the balloons are coming all the way to their oven before they're getting popped which means that these rounds are getting longer for me and i can get more eco so them greeting with their um farms is actually a good thing for me as weird as that sounds it is actually a good thing for me here we're sending some black balloons here and then save up for a lot of yells on round seven it's the plan of attack a lot of yells on round seven here and right, now we send the yellows I might throw in a little balloon boost action just to spook them a little bit. See what they do here. Go for another alchemist. All right. Dude, those sea thorns in the back. Oh my gosh. I just ate so many balloons. Holy cow. I was eating those balloons for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, ladies and gentlemen. That was a storm of balloons just got eaten up there. Wowzers. Wowzers indeed. Wowzers castle. Bowser's castle. You know what I'm saying? We'll send them some uh, space purples this round because that's the best eco balloon for round eight. We got another dartling down as well, because we need we want to have two dartlings here, especially if they send me zebras next round. I need to have two dartlings down. We get our ice shards next. If they send region zebras, I have to get a zero two two dartling. If they send normal zebras, all I need is a powerful darts on it. If they don't send zebras at all, I can chill with the dartling like this. So that's our um plan here. Without obstacle as well, because we need to place my ice down there. All right, doesn't look like they're sending any zebras at well, well as at all. So this guy's playing it pretty passively with farm. All right, fair enough, fair enough. Take it prepare to get my ice here now they send zebras all right we're fine i probably didn't need the whole zero two two there if i i probably could have chilled with just powerful darts and defended but we played it safe ladies and gentlemen okay, we got the ice shards up great We're good. I didn't even have to boost or anything there. Oh my gosh, that was a great defend. He tried baiting out a boost or a pad ability there, and he didn't get either from me, boys. Because we we hold our ground like that, boys. We hold our ground like that. You're not baiting it out of me, bro. You're not baiting it out of me. Let's go. Okay, let's send him some space rainbows this round. Get our eco flow in here. They actually are like not building up any defense right now. So we're going to um, send him a little bit of a rush. We're going to try to force the jitsu out of them here. Send him some grouped eco here. Send some zebras on top. Some pinks on top of that. Okay, we actually did. We forced a boost out of them. I don't think they needed to boost that. But we forced a boost out of them, which is nice. I don't think they needed to boost that, to be honest, though. I think that boost was an unnecessary, unnecessary use of a boost, ladies and gentlemen. Unnecessary use of a boost. Alright, we just used pad ability there, and it absolutely shreds. Against a rerush, we can get up bomb. Um, what's it called? We can use a tower boost against a rerush. I'll get another dartling down just to scare him a little bit. All right, doesn't look like they're rerushing. Yeah, that's a dumb rush. Like if you're rushing, and all you do is force someone to use a tower ability, what's the point of the rush? It didn't force me to spend any money on defense and force a boost out of me. So if you're gonna rush and they use a tower ability, you should rerush so that you can actually force something out of your opponent. You know, that that doesn't make sense to me. Why he just stops at that one rush there? That didn't really. Wasn't very smart in my opinion there. Wasn't very smart from you, Mr. Paper. Just my take though. And he puts on strong for the Moabs. Our eco's looking pretty juicy though. I'm happy about that. Our eco is looking pretty juicy here. We're actually gonna send us some zebra eco at the end of this round, because we want to stall these rounds out. Zebra eco is gonna allow him not to pop these AI balloons early at all. Probably force some defense on their side as well, which is great. And um, you can see how far these balloons are pushing now. So this round should be pretty long, hopefully, for us. All right, don't pop the balloons on my side either. Very good. All you need to do is send that zebra eco towards the end of the round. You don't need to send it throughout the whole round, because the early round doesn't matter. But towards the end of the round, send some zebra eco, and you'll get the round stalled. Get some extra seconds of eco in there. You know what I'm saying? Very important with a eco strategy like what I got. All right, we'll get this um village on here. Oh, I forgot to do it this round. I did indeed forget to do it this round. That is a bit unfortunate. It's all right. I think this round ends with ceramics, if I remember correctly. So we'll try to remember to do it this round. Zebra eco. Maybe I balloon boosted as well, just to. And we'll, we'll start sending zebras right now. We'll start sending zebras right now. Yep, there's the ceramics. Get this round stalled. Look how much we got this round stalled, ladies and gentlemen. That's great. That's exactly what we're looking for here. Push that moa back. We don't want to pop the moa on my side for a while. Perfect. Good job, Fusty. 
Oh, we can get this uh, Monkey City up now as well. Increased eco there. We'll send him some Zebra eco now. Get this round stalled too. We're going to blue boost item too. Add some extra pressure. All right, force trees in the back, but also look how much this round's getting stalled, boys. What we love to see here. They still haven't gotten a fifth tier farm, by the way. It's round 22, so they're kind of... Oh, that's probably why. They're probably going to rush me here. They might be going for an all-out rush. All right, that's... Um... Yeah, they're... that's probably what they're doing. Let's stop eco Let's stop eco All right, we defend that first wave pretty well. We need to embrittle this stuff. It's quite important. Boost. This should be dead as well. All right, now we can go back to ecoing. All right, we're fine. That, a little bit of an over defend with the rocket storm. Probably didn't need it, but we just did that to be safe. And we'll get the Monkey City back up. All right, they got their Monkey Wall Street up. Well done. They did slow down my eco a little bit with that rush, but that rush was pretty large. Like, I don't think that was worth for how much they slowed down my eco, you know? Definitely don't think that was a worthwhile trade because they didn't even have a fifth tier farm up when they did that rush to begin with. So it's not like they were making insane farm, and farm income in the first place. Let's we'll send some purple eco here. He's got to be careful. These balloons are pushing a little bit. All right. I'm happy with my position. Be honest even though i stopped decoing for a bit i'm still happy with my position we should be fine against that with rocket storm he sent another one which we'll get up a uh, ice school impale against this one everything should be gucci we're good all right i'm happy with my position i'm happy with my position their farms are pretty terrible i'm not gonna lie their farms are garbage so we're in a good spot we are in a good spot here they just, oh i forgot my monkeyopolis it's probably not worth to get at this point I should have got that earlier, though. After his round 22 rush failed, I probably should have just went for Monkey Optus then. That would have been the timing to get it. I just forgot about it, guys. I'm sorry. And see this Ice Tower, though, in the front? So good at stolen the rounds, boys. You always should get... If you have Ice in your strategy and you have an Eco strategy, you always go for a 0-1-2 Ice at the start of the map. It stalls Ceramics so long. It helps you out so much for getting Eco here. It helps you out so much there. So, this one, we're going to go for a um, MAD over here when I need it for round, round 30 or whenever he sends me a BD. We have 80, we're floating almost $100,000. We still have almost 8,000 eco. That's actually crazy how much eco we have with having to stop eco for the round 22 rush. That's actually crazy the amount of eco we still got this game, boys. That shows you like being able to greed so hard round 11 and round 13 with such a cheap defense makes such a big difference in how much eco you get throughout the game. Cause you can just scale your eco faster and stuff as well. You know what I'm saying? It makes a gin ginormous difference there. We're in a solid spot. Let's get this obstacle. This ice is stunning those really well. We'll get this um, MAD up, I guess. We don't really want to target the BFB, though. We kind of want to just, like... Are right, he sending me a... Now, I mean, target the BFB, yeah. He's sending me a BED now. Now we should target this. Let's get our balloon exclusion zone up as well. This BED should not be much of an issue. Yeah, we absolutely shred it. Sending me another one. Let's finish this first one off. For, and then we'll... Okay, he's actually going to go all in on me. All right. What we do here is we get up a home and defense. Pretty soon. And we'll go... Home and defense. Rocket storm ability. I'll have to micro home then here in a little bit as well. Home and defense boost. Alright, we're good. GG's. I wanted to say boost for the second home and defense just because if he sent like all out DTs or something, which he did, I think it made more sense to boost on the second home and defense usage. Alright, I'll catch you all in the next game. That was a fun one. That was a fun one.
we were able to defend around 22 all out well he didn't all out but i think we would have defended an all out if he did end up going all in there all right guys for the last batch of the video i'm gonna go show you a third strategy which i also think might be a meta strategy this season which is um dartling ice and boat here on garden and the reason why we're in garden here is because this is a really um it's kind of a hard map for a lot of strategies you know and this is a really aggressive strategy that we have here you got boat farms and stuff which you can sell for like rushes and you have the super cheap round 11 round 13 defense which allows you to be aggressive because you don't really need much money defensively on your end which is a big thing there a big thing so yeah, we're gonna start with our darling right here um we're gonna try to anti-stall round one to the best of our ability we want to try to get these rounds anti-stalled but it's gonna be a little bit difficult early on at least but yeah we're gonna try my best to get these rounds anti-stall we're also sending some green balloons here we're gonna be a lot more aggressive towards paper this game than we were last match on um Dino Graveyard, just due to the difference in our strategy here. Yeah, let's get this um, Snowman Fusty down as well. We'll place it right about there. Alright. Because we want that's near where my um, Ice Shards is going to be. Plus, that's where my boats are going to be as well. Which actually, it doesn't matter. I forgot that it doesn't buff boats. So, it's not normal Fusty. So, it doesn't matter if it's near my boats. But it matters near, it's near my Ice Shards there. Alright, let's get my boat down right about here. Perfect. Also, keep my Darling targeted like this. Yeah, we want to target my darling like this. Try to get these rounds ending quickly, boys. Ending very quickly. Let's get long range on that. It actually increases the pierce of the boat, too. Let's we'll see if we can get a round four merchantman. I'm not sure if we'll be on pace around four merchantman. That would be pretty pogger, though, if we got it. I might have to stole this round to be able to afford round four merchantman, which I think is a good thing to do. We obviously don't want to stole too many rounds, but I think we need to stole this one in particular to get the merchantman up. Actually, maybe not. We might be able to anti stole. Oh, we're good. We're good with an anti stall. Yeah, we still afforded it. Great. All right, we got a round four merchantman. That's fantastic. We'll send him white balloons this round. Should be able to force some good defense with that. He's sending me balloons as well. We'll have to go with my powerful darts here. And we should be fine. That's another great part about having boat instead of um instead of farm with an aggressive strategy is that I have to I don't have to build up near as much defense these early rounds because if I had farm, I would this startling would have to have the middle cross path right now. But since I have boat, the boat farm adds enough um damage to my defense that I don't have to get that dartling up those dartling upgrades, which is really nice. Also, we stole that round out because I'm bad. I need to be more attentive in targeting my dartling in a way to get these rounds anti-stalled towards the end. It's actually kind of difficult though, because that's the da targeting dartling downwards is the best path to um damage his rushes so i can't really anti-stall these rounds while he's sending me space balloons like this it's a bit unfortunate but that's kind of how it has to be he's sending me yellows let's just go for an ice tower right there we use snow pad ability as well i don't know who said that frosty's hat thing makes it do three damage for ice towers it only adds one damage you can see it right there in the ability my ice was doing two layers per attack so i don't know where that um misconception came around from but yeah the snow pat's ability makes your ices do the same amount of it's plus one damage just like normal pat but it adds an attack speed buff to it which the normal pat does not so that's the difference right there but yeah i heard from someone that it added more than plus one and that is not true we'll get this up three merchantmen that's great we'll send them some zebras here maybe we should send some region zebras now start to get a little bit aggressive on them We'll get this faster barrel spin going here in a little bit as well. Yeah, we'll force another alchemist. I'll take it. Prepare to get my ice shards down as well, which will be right about here. All right. Is he really being aggressive right now at me? I have so much chief and down, bro. Not going to do anything. Yeah, that was kind of a dumb rush. We're going to send them rush now. Force to boost. We'll take it. and some um, space rainbows this round. You can see how crazy the green is with my strategy, by the way. It's actually absurd. We still don't have an ice shards on my side, by the way. We Our only defensive towers is a 2-1-0 ice and a dartling. That's it right now, boys. That's it. That's two boosts used on their side, by the way. We're going to rerush for sure. We don't, have a, we don't have a balloon boost for a rerush, which is a bit, a bit unfortunate, but we should be able to get a nasty rerush on them anyways. Alright, there we go. We, they don't have any farms now, boys. They don't have any farms down, which is fantastic. Um, I think we just eco here, to be honest. I think we just eco. 
They still have not forced an ice shard. Oh, wait. They sold their defense. They sold their defense. That's bad. That's bad for you. You don't want to sell your defense, bro. We're going to re-rush you. Are they dead? I think they're dead. Wait. Nope. They clutch up. Nice defend. Nice defend. Got to give it to them. Well defended there. We're going to send them another rush with some ceramics here. Force to boost. Alright, we'll re-rush with a lot of ceramics then. Again, just being really aggressive here. We got it like annoyingly aggressive in this matchup because their strategy is super late game oriented. You just have to be annoyingly aggressive at them. Force to Sabo. Oh my gosh, bro. Okay. That's great. That's great. We're going to put ice shards on my side just to be safe because we haven't had that in the entire game. We'll also get one of these boats. You want to get one of these boats to hot shot just because it will target, it will cause the ice shards attack a lot. That's very important. I think we'll go to like 2k eco and then we'll target sending them a ZMG on round 22. ZMG round 22 is something that Ninja Elk does not like at all. So that'll be our next targeted rush. The ZMG on round 22. Try to get this round anti stall to the best of my ability. It's kind of hard with all my defense centered towards the back. That's the one thing I probably could have done a lot better this game, anti stalling. I didn't do the best at it. All right, 2000 eco. We'll stop there. Should we go get another paper trades before this round ends, hopefully? Yeah, there we go. Perfect. They're sending me a rush. That's not smart. I'm just going to use pad ability on this. Dude, snow pad ability is so absurd. That's, that's literally absurd. How that defends. It, Ninja Kiwi. I'm, Ninja Kiwi needs to nerf some snow pad or something, bro. Or just normal pad altogether. Alright. Kind of panicked there because um I didn't have my defense like pre ready for that, but um we defended that nonetheless. We'll send them a fortified ZMG here. I don't think there's a chance to defend this, to be honest. We'll end up we'll end up going for a boat pool on our side here. All right, yeah, they're gonna they're gonna go in and on me. Yeah. All right, let's boost. All right, they died. I was going to boost and then rocket storm towards the back, and I think that would have defended. It actually could have been pretty close, though. It might have been pretty close. Not going to lie. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, you know what to do. Hit the like button. Subscribe button with your forward. I appreciate it a lot, guys. And um, yeah, that's it for today. Round like out. Peace, lads.